The 2011 SEMA show in Las Vegas was packed with news this year, sure to get any car enthusiast's engine revved, especially from Mopar. Well, the fun started even before the show opened, with three top Eliminator personal Mopars being chosen throughout 2011 and brought out to Vegas to be on display. Sitting alongside the top Eliminators was the Mopar 11 Charger, given away to the lucky winner of the Auto Week Adventure Rally that had nearly 30 teams. It began in Seattle and ended at the SEMA show on Tuesday morning. Well, the Mopar 11 wasn't the only car that shined on the floor. The highly anticipated Dodge Durango tow hook, the Chrysler 300 SF6, the Ram 392 Quicksilver, Fiat 500 Carbon and Titanium models, and the Fast and Furious Challenger SRT8 ACR also stole the show. The Mopar family welcomed a new member to their racing family with the announcement of NHRA Pro Stock Champ Jag Coughlin Jr. joining the team. Pietro Gorlier, president and CEO of Mopar, said the brand is thrilled to add such an elite driver to the team. Mopar also unveiled six new engines in their lineup that are sure to excite every car admirer. As if all that news wasn't enough, Mopar also took home two of the four SEMA annual awards, the hottest sports compact car for the Fiat 500 and the hottest 4x4 SUV for the Jeep Wrangler. Entertaining guests between news announcements was the Mopar Alley, where attendees could watch a Ram Runner conversion, Fiat graphic installations, and Jeep Wrangler upfits. The Mopar display at SEMA, large and impressive, and the brand thrilled its fans with a trunk full of good news. I think after, after uh, more than two years since the new company was created, I mean, Mopar really has been able to show the value that we can add to our brands. And that, uh, I mean, really proud to see the people gathering around our cars and recognizing the value of the Mopar brand. The next year, we'll celebrate the 75th anniversary. Reporting for Chrysler Electronic Communications, I'm Ed Garston.